the uh, Viper from the original Battlestar Galactica. I've designed it as an A-class ship, and I tried to keep any uh, requirements uh, out of the way. Uh, so we'll see what we get. I'm going to move each piece, and uh, you can always pause the video if you want to uh, look at your options or use it for uh, ideas for your ship. But I always start with the landing bay, and I use the Stability Pro landing bay from Stroud Eklund. I connected that to a hab. You can use whatever hab you want. I use the Nova Galactic all-in-one. I thought mostly the shape of the ship was round, so I used the Nova Galactic all-in-one berth. Uh, here I put a landing gear on the front. This is the AccuLander 11 landing gear. I like them because they provide two lander thrust, and you can cycle through the different landers to get all the attachment points uh, by pressing Z. Um, on the front, I flipped the Stroud nose cap B. Okay. Now on the sides, uh, I placed uh, one. I placed an, uh, another landing gear on. In this location and then I placed the slim docker bottom underneath of this hab that gets our docker out of the way um, I placed Nova cowling on the side it doesn't have as slim a shape as I would like um, but it creates a good shape for the ship now I put these a class Vanguard Tempest CE-13 missile launchers from Vanguard and they deal 33 hull damage and 30 shield damage uh, but they take uh, six max, max power so just you can look at your power if you only want one of these missile launchers you can mount them somewhere else in the back here I've used uh, the Aculander landing gear cycling them so that they had all the attachments for the ship from Stroud Eklund uh, and then I placed the Stellarator reactor with a 20 generated power. Now, if you have higher um, ship design, you can get better reactors than that and utilize more power for your ship. For the grav drive, I used the um, Relidine R4000 Alpha Grav Drive, and that has 27 grav jump thrust. And I use the Deimos hull to join the middle here. For the wings, uh, I used a Stroud cowling out here. Cycled through so that I could get the right shape for the ship. And then I used uh, the Nova wing to create more of a wing shape on the outer side here. There you go. And then on the outside, I put the Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector. It's an A-class weapon dealing 11 hull damage and 11 shield damage with a max power of 2. Uh, we're probably going to have to reconnect this here in a minute because it won't auto-connect down here. But I put the uh, M20 Ulysses uh, Helium Tank on the bottom there. We'll move that to the side. Uh, the next level that I did. Uh, I put the Stroud nose cap flipped on the front there to create the shape of the ship that I wanted. And this is the Tayo Infirmary. Um, I put this on here because if you want um, the research station, the infirmary has one. So that's a cool way to add that. And then here I have the KE-20 cannon. I just put this on here so it would have three weapon systems when we got done. Uh, so you can decide if you just want two weapon systems, that'll better you utilize your power. You won't have to shunt your grav drive as much. Uh, but that's what I put there, the Ballistic Solutions KE-20 cannon. Uh, behind that, I placed the uh, Galactic Workshop, Nova Galactic Workshop, right there. 
And now these are optional, but I put a couple of uh, Caravel cargo holds on here. You'll see we end up with a mobility of 98 on the ship. If you want a mo mobility of 100, like the B-Class Cylon Raider that I made, then you can take those off and have less cargo. Okay. Uh, now on the back of the ship here, we've got engines. Uh, the C-Class engines that I wanted for the shape of the ship aren't available in A-Class engines, so I'm, using, I'm stacking these uh, to have that work out. Now I'm going to put this um, helium tank underneath. It attaches to the hab. And then I hid the shield generator in the back just for the general look of the ship. And you'll see how that gets uh, hidden here in a second. Now for the next layer of the ship, um, in order to attach the engines together, I put the Tayo braking engine on here. It's also for the general look of the Viper. because we don't have any round engines for the front. Um, and then I put the Ammon 3 engine, max power 2 maneuvering thrust to 1900 um, on top there, because this would normally be one big round engine, but instead it's two uh, single stack engines here. And then uh, we're going to put this hab in here. This is the Nova Galactic storeroom. You could use uh, the all-in-one if you wanted to, uh, or rather the uh, companion way, and you could use it from any one of the manufacturers that you want. But I needed that there in order to connect the Armstrong 20E cockpit. Okay, to create the look of the ship. Um, now behind that hab goes this engine right here, this Ammon 3 engine. And that's the next level of the ship. Uh, the next level um, is another Ammon 3 engine, which will stack right up there. And then the Deimos cowling, the four cowling. Okay. And then I just put the tail on. That is the Deimos tail A. Kind of creates the right look for the ship. Now I painted it in a certain way. You can paint it any way that you want. The uh, Nova cowlings and the Stability Pro landing bay and the Aculander 11 landing gear from Stroud Eklund don't color the same way. Uh, so I colored the rest of the ship gray um, to reflect the white color of the Nova cowling uh, just because of the way the colors were different. Now how you can do that is you can just click on that piece until it's highlighted in orange and click on the other piece and then you would be coloring just those two pieces. If you want to color your entire ship, you just double click on the ship. Also, if you have any missing pieces, uh, if it says that something's not connected, you can double click on the entire ship and then move it. And when you do that, any pieces that weren't connected will stay behind. And that's a great way to find the pieces that are not connected to your ship. The ship ends up with a mobility of 98 with the extra cargo. So you could take these two cargo items off of here. Uh, and if you did, You'd have a mobility of 100. It has a max speed of uh, top speed of 150. I think that's pretty good. 29 light year jump range, uh, which is good for uh, any quest that you get in the game. Um, and with those cargos removed, it has uh, a 280 cargo. Now it's meant to be just a little fighter ship, uh, so I left it at a max crew of two. Although you could change any of these halves to uh, the the control room to get more crew on your ship if you're eligible for more crew with your skills. And uh, that is the battle, the original Battlestar Galactica Viper build that I did. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time on Quest ALTV.